Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Singh with Healer, and today we are diving into a topic that I think deserves a little bit more attention, lifespan versus health span. We often hear about how long people are living, but the real question is, are those extra years being lived in good health? So that's the difference between lifespan and health span. And it's one of the most important conversation in modern medicine these days. So when it comes to basics, lifespan is the number of years you live, basically how long you're alive. Now, health span is the number of years you live free from chronic illness, diabetes, for example, disability, significant suffering. Think about it this way. If someone lives to 90 years old, but spends the last 20 years with severe diabetes, complications, immobility, dementia, their lifespan was very long, but their health span was cut short. Now, over the last century, doctors have gotten really good at extending lifespan. We got advances in medicine, antibiotics, vaccines, surgeries, and countless lives have been saved. But extending lifespan hasn't been able to keep up pace with extension of lifespan. Many people are living longer, but spending those extra years managing chronic illness, diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, dementia, to name a few. The World Health Organization estimates the gap between average lifespan and health span is often eight to 12 years. So that's like a decade of life where people may struggle with poor quality of health. What really determines health span? Lifestyle, nutrition, exercise, sleep, and stress management. They're huge factors. When it comes to environment, air quality, pollution, access to healthy food, social support, they all matter. Preventative medicine, screenings, vaccines, early interventions, we can catch problems before they get out of control. When it comes to genetics, we can't really change our DNA, but we can influence how those genes are expressed with lifestyle choices. If you want to improve your health span, the good news is you have more control than you think. So there are some evidence-based strategies that you can employ. So exercise regularly. It's not just for strength, but also for brain power. Helps bone density and improves our metabolism. Prioritize nutrition. Focus on whole foods, nutrient-rich foods, and limit ultra-processed foods. Sleep like it really matters, because it does. Poor sleep accelerates aging at the cellular level. Manage stress. Chronic stress increases inflammation and shortens telomeres. Those are the protective caps on our DNA. Stay connected. Having strong social relationships are very important for longevity, for example, as not smoking. Our social connections actually have a lot more effect on our health. Now, looking forward, medicine is moving towards extending not just lifespan, but health span. We have regenerative therapies, we have precision medicine, the best tests we can order, amazing new medications out there, better understanding of nutrition. We are all seeing all these new cool things in medicine, but the foundation will always be the choices we make every single day. Now imagine a future where instead of spending the last decade of your life in hospital or in a nursing home, we live amazing lives till the very, very end. Active, independent, mentally sharp. That's what health span is all about. So here is a takeaway. Lifespan adds years to your life. Health span adds life to your years. So as you reflect on your own habits, think less about how long can I live and more about how well can I live? And remember, you have more power than you realize to shape your health span. So until next time, stay healthy, stay curious, and take charge of your health and your well-being. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Singh with Healer. Bye-bye.